Hey guys, love is in the air, and I'm gonna show you guys how to make the perfect Valentine's Day treat today, strawberry hand pies. I'm Meg, and I'm passionate about finding ways to make life with kids easier in the kitchen. So let's go through our ingredients. You're gonna need some pie crust, ricotta cheese, agave syrup, jelly, finely chopped strawberries or cherries, an egg, a spoonful of sugar, and a heart-shaped cookie cutter. All right, so the first step is to get out your pie crust. Today I'm using a refrigerated one because I used all of my homemade pie crust earlier this week in recipe testing. So I have my pie crust. I put a little bit of flour on the surface just to make sure it doesn't stick. And then I have my heart-shaped cookie cutter. I pretty much only use this one time of year. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp some of the cookies out. All right, so now let's talk about our filling. And I'm gonna do a bunch of different ones because when recipe testing with my kids, they all had different opinions. Which one do you think will be the best? I think that one's gonna be the best. I think that one. You can do just a little bit of jam in some of them. I'm going to do one that has a ricotta cheese and an agave syrup mixed together. And the agave syrup just sweetens the ricotta cheese a little bit. So I'm gonna give it a quick mix. Okay, so now we're ready to assemble our hand pies. So I'm gonna take one of our cutouts and put it right onto the baking sheet. I've lined the baking sheet with parchment paper to help it prevent it from sticking. And then what I'm gonna do is wet the rim of it with just a little bit of water, and that's gonna help the two sides of the pie stick together. All right, so once everything's wet, I'm ready for my filling. Now the key when you're filling these up is to not fill up too much or they will burst. It's really tempting because this filling is so delicious. And then I'm gonna try some strawberries in this one. Now you wanna make sure your strawberries are really finely chopped. Again, this will help the pockets from bursting. I just take another one of my heart cutouts and I lay it directly on top of my filling. I press a little bit around the edges, and then I have my fork. I'm gonna go around the edges and press down. This helps seal it and also makes a really pretty border. And then finally, I like to just take my fork and make an X print right in the middle to let the steam escape. So now I'm gonna do one with jam. This was Avery's favorite. So again, I just put it right over here, get my edges wet, fill it with a little bit of jam. This one is raspberry and it's really sweet and it's perfect for Valentine's Day. And then I've got my top. Give it a nice little press to seal it and go around the edges. And for this one, I don't even need to poke it because there won't be as much steam that needs to escape. The final step before you put the hand pies into the oven is to brush it with an egg wash. You're gonna crack your egg, add a tablespoon of water, and give it a quick whisk. Once you have your egg wash ready, you're gonna brush one of your hand pies with it. And this really helps them glisten and gives them a nice brown coating. Go all around the edges with that. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of sugar and just sprinkle it right on the top. Then I'm gonna pop them into a 375 degree oven for 20 minutes. My pies are out of the oven and they look so sweet. My kids are really excited to give these away to their friends on Valentine's Day. You're gonna give some to your friends? Yeah, I am. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and we will see you guys next week. Bye guys. Eat them, let's test them, let's test them, let's test them, let's test them. All right.